moons. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, circles its planet in a direction opposite to the planet's rotation. The mass of Triton is 2.139 times 10 to the 22 kgs and it has a diameter of 2706 kilometers and then 3.1 says state newton's universal gravitational law in words we know that by formula f is equals to g m1 multiplied by m2 divided by r squared we can see from the formula here that everybody in the universe will attract every other body uh, with a force that is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square distance between them and then now we can go to 3.2 3.2 says calculate the gravitational acceleration an object will experience on the surface of Triton. So we want the gravitational acceleration. What is the formula of the gravitational accelerator? This is one of those formulas that you will most likely forget, right? Uh, but then it is said to be uh, the gravitational the gravitational acceleration uh, will be equals to g m divided by r squared uh, this capital letter g uh, being the gravitational constant and then the mass is the mass of the object of interest and then r is the radius of that object in this instance we're talking about triton a moon uh, that is rotating around neptune uh, so what do we have here? This will be equals to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. Uh, that is the value of G. And then the mass of Triton is said to be 2.1390 times 10 to the 22 kg. Uh, now we have to pay our attention uh, to the radius, right? Uh, we are told that uh, the diameter... <coughs> of Triton is 2,706 kilometers but then uh, radius is only half of the diameter right so we're gonna have 2,706 divided by 2 we want the radius and not the diameter but then hold on the diameter is given to us in kilometers so it's our job to convert it to meters so we're gonna multiply this by a thousand uh, that, is, that is because in one kilometer we have a thousand meters uh, so we're gonna square that and then uh, let me punch that in my calculator so we have 6.67 to the minus 11 multiplied by 2.139 to the 22 divided by 2706 divided by 2 multiplied by a thousand uh, squared and that is 0 0.7794 meters per second squared right and then uh, that's about it uh, we can move forward and go to 3.3 3.3 says if the space agency sends an aerobotic spacecraft of mass 15,000 kg to Triton, calculate the force of attraction when the robotic spacecraft is at a height of 50 kilometers above the surface of Triton. So we know fully well that uh, F, like we have already said, is equal to G M1 M2 divided by R squared. So F uh, will be equals to g uh, is our universal gravitational constant right uh, which is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 and then uh, we want the force of attraction between triton and the robotic spacecraft right so let's say m1 is the mass of the spacecraft uh, which is 15,000 and then m2 is the mass of triton uh, which is 2.1390 times 10 to the 22 uh, the way you order the masses uh, doesn't really matter right uh, because they will pull out they're pulling each other uh, with the same force and then uh, we divide by r squared so what is r we know that the radius of um triton is 2000 
uh, 706 divided by 2 multiplied by 1000. But the robotic spacecraft, it is said to be at a height of 50 kilometers above uh, the surface of Triton, right? So here we're going to have plus 50 kilometers and then we also multiply this by a thousand and we square everything uh so let me just uh put that in my calculator real quick uh so i'm getting a force of um 10842.08 newton right 